Welcome back first graders. So last week we did our two painted papers so that this week we can do our snakes in the grass weaving. So to begin I'm going to take my grass paper and I'm going to fold it up, line up my corners, and then I want to go from the middle and slide right, slide left. With the open side facing up, I'm going to put my ruler across the top, line it up with the top edge, and then hold it down while I trace it across. Okay. Then I'm going to go on the left side, do the same kind of thing, line it up on the left edge, but starting at this line, I'm going to then draw all the way down. So I'm tracing my ruler. Okay, then I move it to that line, trace it again, and I keep scooting it across, tracing lines down that I'm then going to cut. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pencil lines drawn. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut each line until I get to this line and then stop. So don't cut all the way through. When you get to this top line, stop. When I'm done cutting, I'm going to open it back up and fold it the other way a little bit so it gets a little more flat. And now, in my grass, I've got these slits that I can weave the paper through. So to get ready for that, I'm now going to take my other paper and make my snakes. To make my snakes, I'm going to draw some wavy lines across. And I'd like to have, my goal is to have five snakes, but if you end up only being able to fit four, that's okay. Um, so I'm going to start at the top, and I'm just going to start by drawing a wavy line with my pencil. And then at the end, I'm going to draw a curve for the head, and then I'm going to wave it back. And it's okay if it goes into my next color on the painting, because snakes could be more than one color. So there's my first one. Then I'm going to draw another one. So just big waves, curve at the end. And then wave it back. And you can make these snakes how you want. So now I have two, and I'm going to keep going until I have five. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five snakes drawn in pencil. And before I cut them out and weave them, I'm going to take these construction paper crayons and make designs on them. So these are really cool because they will, if you have like a dark snake, you can use a lighter colored crayon and it'll like really pop and show up. So like if I wanted to make a zigzag design on this snake, I can do that. And you see it really pops against the dark blue and purple paint, which is cool. And then at the end, you might want to make a little face. So again, on this one, I would pick a lighter color. I could even use white and do eyes and a mouth. But if you want to draw it a different way, feel free. So you get to design these how you want. Um, and then I might just add a few more designs in this one and then design all the others in a different way.
Okay, so now that I used my construction paper crayons to make a different pattern or design on each snake and a little face at the end, I'm going to cut all of them out and then we'll line them up and see how we're going to weave them. Okay, so now that I've got my five snakes cut out and I've recycled my extra scraps, I'm going to start weaving them into the grass. So, you're going to pick one to start with. Take your grass paper and you are going to either start on top or underneath. It's up to you. So I'll start on top. So this is the pattern. You're going to go over, under, over, under. So you're going over a strip of green and then under, over, under, and then over, and then you're going to slide it up to the top. Okay, now here's what's different about your second snake. So watch carefully. Um, and for one thing, if you want, you could do a pattern where you have the face on the right side and then the face on the left side. Um, that doesn't matter too much, but it's a choice. All right, now my second one. <clears throat> Instead of starting over, I'm starting under. So it's the opposite. So I'm going to go under, over, under. Keep sliding it. Over, under, over, under, over. And then when I go to my third snake, we're going to be going back to the way we did our first one. So it's you keep that pattern going where you're either starting on top or underneath. So instead of starting under, I'm going to start what? Over. So I'm going to go over, under. Okay, my next one will start over or under? Under. All right, and my last one, will it start over or under? Over. All right, cool. Now, as a final step, um, what you can do is flip your paper over, and you want to be careful not to cut into where your little slits are, but just at the very top of the green, um, you can draw a zigzag. So I can go, so I don't want to go as far as this line, but I could draw a zigzag and it can be kind of random like this. It doesn't have to be um, all the same height. You can also make it kind of curved like that on certain parts. And then if we cut this off the top of the grass, it'll help it look a little bit more like grass because it'll be a little bit spiky. So then I'm just going to cut this and we'll take a look at what it looks like when it's done.